Good morning. My name is Jesse, and I will be sharing your word for the day. Let's read Psalm 69, 1 through 3, and hear a piece of David's heart asking God to rescue him from deep waters. It says, Save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. I sink in deep mire where there is no foothold. I have come into deep waters, and the flood sweeps over me. I am weary with my crying out. My throat is parched. My eyes grow dim with waiting for my God. Wow, did you hear that? His throat was parched from calling out and crying out to God for help in desperation. He continues to say in Psalm 69, 13 through 18, But as for me, my prayer is to you, O Lord, at an acceptable time, O God, in the abundance of your steadfast love, answer me in your saving faithfulness. Deliver me from sinking in the mire. Let me be delivered from my enemies and from the deep waters. Let not the flood sweep over me or the deep swallow me up or the pit close its mouth over me. Answer me, O Lord, for your steadfast love is good according to your abundant mercy. Turn to me, hide not your face from your servant, for I am in distress. Make haste to answer me. Draw near to my soul redeem me, ransom me because of my enemies. I remember a time when I was younger driving from Arizona to California in the middle of the night. I hit a block in the road and it messed up my tire and rim. So I was stuck in the desert with no cell phone service and no tools to change the tire. On top of that, it was super dark out and no one was on the road and I wasn't sure how I was gonna get help. Thankfully, someone stopped and helped me get a small spare tire on so that I could make it to the next town. I could not drive very fast on that tire, so it took a long time. And that early morning, I made it, finally made it to Yuma, and someone else helped me replace that tire so I could make it to San Diego. He even followed me on the highway to his destination for an hour to make sure I'd be okay. Looking back, I was so thankful for all the help along the way and that I made it home safe. Life can have unexpected difficulties with health, relationships, resources, and things just breaking. Sometimes it's because of our own decisions or sin that can cause destruction, and we can feel like we're stuck in the desert, parched with no tools and no way of getting in touch with anyone to help. We need to remember we can rely on Jesus. We also must rely on the help of others. Thankfully, as followers of Jesus, we have the Spirit of God living in us to help, to call out, and to depend on. Trials will come, but when we have our armor on and our tool belt filled up, we can be ready for the difficulties that may come our way. David's words remind me of when I cried out to God to rescue me from my destructive path. I needed His help, His forgiveness, His mercy, and Jesus did. He renewed and healed and restored my life and gave me a new purpose and a new desire to follow his path. So I wanna encourage you today to keep making time for God in your life, get in the word and spend time with Jesus daily. Reach out for prayer, attend a service, join a life group, serve in a ministry, attend Celebrate Recovery so that you can build an accountability and support team around you. Then when a storm comes, you will have a rescue plan in place with the support needed to get through it. Be encouraged that the Lord ha hears your prayers and he will not leave you. In Psalm 46, God says, he is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. The reality is that there will be difficult times, but God promises to be our refuge. If you are not yet a follower of Jesus, don't wait. You can accept his love, forgiveness, hope, an eternal promise today. Please reach out to us so that we can pray with you. Thank you for listening and spending time with us today. Have a blessed day.